Martin got there, knew the problem because he was here when we had FaceTimed Dow and showed him what was going on. Um, Martin got there and we just dove right in and got straight to work. We had a uh, toilet that was where it came down into their basement. It came down, made a turn, and then another turn, and we couldn't get through all those 90s. And in the basement, they had such a half-assed job. There was no clean outs, there was no way in. The only way in was would have been to remove a firm coat, but we couldn't get that off either because our nipples were too long. So we were just gonna have to cut the pipe, add a firm coat at that point, but that would give us a way into the pipe. Um, got Martin got there, looked at it. Yup, that's what we need to do. We grabbed the saw and cut it. And uh, me and Michael failed to remember that the camera was in the line. So, so when, they decapitated our brand so new when Martin, So when Martin cut the line, he took the head off the camera about that far behind the, the actual head of the camera. Um, so <clears throat> I told Dow that night we had kind of teed this one up for the safety committee. Uh, anytime you're on a job and a new person arrives, we you have got to stop, do a full walk around type, you know, not walk around, <coughs> just a tailgate, explain the situation and show them everything. Um, we had explained everything that was going on, but what we should have done was taken Martin into the bathroom and showed him, okay, we've pulled the toilet, we tried this, and then at that point we would have been reminded a foot and a half of the camera is still in the in that hole because um, that literally I mean only about two feet of the camera was in the hole but mm -hmm. it was within the two feet that we were cutting so, so even though it's I mean at this point it's 530 in the evening on a Friday night and everyone wants to go home we need to take our time and slow down. We really need to take our time and slow down because as we were walking to the house, we were talking about going up and looking at the camera to, he, want, he wanted to see if I knew, wanted to go see what the problem was, but they told me how it was disjointed in that area and everything. So we'd actually talked about going up there and looking at the camera, and that should have flopped back that, you know, it was in there or whatever. So, I mean, you know, you get in the zones half the time that it's just, not necessarily we got to pay attention to what everything's going on but our zone just drops us to where we need to get the job done so getting the job done is not our main task our main task is yes to get the job done but to get it done safely and efficiently so sometimes it's better off to step back and take a second or two and think about it especially when like chet says when somebody shows up that hasn't been on the job walk them through the whole job first show them everything you've been up against and Hopefully we can stop something like this in the past, in the future. Everybody remember what the topic for the month was? <coughs> fresh start. Fresh start, right? Okay, we're starting fresh for the year. We've had some incidences already this year. Um, not quite the fresh start we wanted to have, but we've had some incidents. We've had some things happen. What are ways we can do to prevent that stuff? Martin, Martin just brought up, you know, take a step back. Chet brought up, take a step back. We brought up tailgate meetings. That's something, are all of us still doing that? Are we doing a pre-job analysis on our day? I'll bet none of us here can raise our hand and say, nope, we're not writing it down. Let's start a new chapter on the back of the white part of your daily log. Everybody, we go out and we do a job. We're gonna start today. Chet's hauling gravel, Tony's digging in the road, you're hauling water, you're hauling dumpsters. Everybody's got a job. Uh, you guys, are, you're doing toilets, you're doing toilets, you know. We've all got a job. On the back of it, we can write a brief JSA of what we're doing today. Today, I'm hauling dumpsters, my basic dumpsters. What do I have to look for? I have to watch my truck. I have to pick the dumpster up. I gotta make sure the tailgate's closed. I gotta make sure it's not overloaded. I gotta make sure those are your basics. When you pull on location, you're going to look at it and say, can I back into this dumper safely? Can I get it picked up? And is there cars in the road? Is there something going on? Toilets, the same thing. Can I get into the toilet or is there a stack of trusses there 
and I've got to wait over 20 trusses to get to it. Is it safe? Basic JSA on the back of your daily logs just get us back in the routine of what it is. That way if you do come up, somebody comes in, say Cameron finishes up and he starts helping Chet haul rock this afternoon. Chet can grab Cameron in the truck there for a minute and say, hey look, this is the hazards that are across the street right now. This is the hazards on the hill. This is what we got. This is what I've been doing all day. Cameron's already prepped for the job for the day to start in and get going. Cameron may see something else when he's doing it and catch Chet and say, hey, I just noticed that them guys are in and out and watching our, watch our blind spots, you know, something else. So keep track of that. But let's all start starting today on the back of your white copy of your daily log. Two sentences. It don't have to be much, just a little bit to keep our brains focused on the jobs we're doing. If you change tasks, go from, let's use going from <coughs> toilets to hauling the gravel. Throw a couple more sentences down. I mean, yep. it's always a good thing to overview what you're doing. And that takes 30 seconds. It don't take very much time, but 30 seconds can save $6,000 worth of damage. $7,538. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Okay. Anybody have anything else? Jesse, you got anything? Oh, no. All right. Yes. Jesse's covered it. We're good. Let's go to work.